Hey guys, so I've been on a road trip and uh, stopped to pick up some Chick-fil-A and now I just wanted to kind of get out some of the thoughts that have been running through my head the last little bit. I've been thinking about, and maybe it's because it's about food, I've been thinking about the story where they put the, they take boiling water and then they put different items in the boiling water and the way the things react is a little bit different. Uh, the first thing is eggs, right? They put an egg into the hot water. Now this represents somebody that goes in and gets into the world and they find this hot blistering world and they turn hard. And what it, that kind of means as far as like the reality of it is that unforgiveness starts to kind of set in and people don't want to, you know, give other people different chances and they want to just alienate themselves. They want to make themselves hard so that other people and other things can't get inside of them. And so I just want to just reiterate what Jesus says, because whenever the disciples came to Jesus and said, should we forgive our brother even up to seven times? And now they said that like, that's a lot. And because seven is the number of perfection, Jesus though says, no, 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 77 or seven times seven, one or the other. Um, but what that really means is perfection upon perfection, right? It's even more. And so I just want to encourage you, if, if that's you, if you've encountered different heartache and different um, pains and you find it hard to forgive and you find it hard to really let other people back in, you're closing yourself out off and out from not just the harsh world that makes you kind of, oh, I can live, but it makes it to where you don't get the good stuff either. There's nothing that can go through that barrier. So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Open yourself up. Offer forgiveness even whenever it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. It should always feel right, I guess, if you're really connected to God's heart. Thanks for taking a minute, guys.